time I think he was six years old. And Chris thinks he's good because he plays with his brother in the yard. And his brother tosses the ball to him. And he can catch the ball. And then we hit grounders to him, you know, and he can catch those. But the grounders I hit to him and the grounders I hit to my oldest son are uniquely different speeds, right? But in his little head, a grounder's a grounder. So he's watching TV, we're watching the World Series, and he looks at his mom and he goes, Mom, I am as good as that. <laughs> and you know, some parents, I'm sure, would be like, yes, you are. You're, you're, we're not those parents. I just want you to know that. <laughs> that is not us. Uh-uh. That's how you, that's how you create a lot of disappointment late in life. So, um, listen, I got, I got, never mind. Oh Lord. Okay. So listen, I was going to say, I, there's a few of those that, never mind. Okay. Uh, listen, so my wife tells him, buddy, we, we love you. You are amazing. You're not that good. And he says, what? And Leah explains it. Those are professional athletes. They get paid a lot of money to play that sport. Those are the best players on the planet and you're, you're like six. <laughs> you're really good at six, but you were not that good. You would have thought that my wife hit him with a bat <laughs> right in his face. He cried, he freaked out. He's like, he looked at his mom, like his mom just destroyed his dreams and life. Listen. The, the, the tension, gosh, the tension of comparison is that you lose a lot, right? And, and if you're in this environment, because of, I had you in the beginning look around, if, if you look around, there's amazing people here. That's just the truth. We gather some amazing, phenomenal people in this environment. And comparison, comparison is a killer. Comparison is a destroyer of dreams. Very long and hard Sunday, we decided we needed some ice cream <laughs> with marshmallows and caramel and a cookie and some whipped cream. Yeah, we uh, slept and played Xbox all day. And we went grocery shopping, so that was the hard part. Yep, it was a good, good day. <laughs> So I just got back from a little 5k run, it was beautiful, cool, and lots of elevation. So this week, um, week, weekend, we're volunteering for the Young Saints Conference and they asked us to dress all in black, so we're practicing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we, we have to match today, it was unplanned. Except for my socks. And so here begins another week of school. I'd be I mean, here you've ever had an anxious thought today. Even Francesco, he brought attention to it. And so, as believers, renewing our mind looks like these thoughts that are just, if you, if you let them, they can actually begin to crowd out how you see life. So we are uh, ready to host our first home group in our house. So we have moved all of our furniture to the outside of the room. And uh, we're ready for some people. And we have some lemon water and cookies. So I'm sitting here eating some strawberry yogurt with mini wheats. It's delicious. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my day yesterday. It was really interesting. We started with like announcements for 10 minutes and then we went into worship and there's a point where we're supposed to transition out of worship and uh, begin with our lesson for the day, but we never really did that transition, so kind of just worship till the end. Um, a few people got up and spoke and, and uh, said that they felt like God was healing in the room, so there was different things that they were healing. There was somebody who got her knee healed, someone who got their back healed, someone who had a skin problem, arthritis, all these different things where they had actual physical pain in the moment and it went away. Um, so that was really well, neat. I'm uh, biking to school and I have another flat tire. So I brought my pump with me. I hope it doesn't go flat too often. I'm about halfway to school and filling up 
my bike tire. Like, don't make out with each other. Boundaries. I like that that part of boundaries. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, sometimes I tell students like, "Hey, I, do you want to volunteer for that?" Oh no, 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 I can't. Why? Why? Well, I have boundaries for my life. I'm like, no, no, no. You're, you're lazy. That's what those boundaries are. Cheyenne and I, two weeks ago, applied for seven different mission trips, and today we found out which one we got. So we applied for New Zealand, Argentina. What was there? Netherlands. Oh, New Zealand was first, Netherlands was second. Argentina, Argentina was, was third. Florida, Florida was, was fourth. fourth. What's fifth? Um, Colombia was Columbia fifth. Columbia was fifth. Um, Texas was sixth, then yeah, Cuba Houston, was seventh. Houston, Texas, and then Cuba. And so today we heard that we get to go to Florida. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and so that will be lots of fun. Um, so we'll be fundraising for that. It'll be great. <laughs> and so please help us out. So us poor, poor people go to Florida and minister on the beaches. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Good afternoon. We are uh, on our way to buy a bike tube tire for my bike. Um, we're both just done school. It's a beautiful day. It's got to be like 30 degrees out here, so that's nice. <laughs> um, we're just I don't feel Dick's awkward at sporting good, and Cheyenne does not feel awkward at all. <laughs> um, so that's good news. Let's go we're hide like in the clothes. Breaking off the fear of man here. It's great. We'll just go in here. Okay, um, now we can finish talking. I forget what I was going to talk about now. Are we making some soup? Just checking in, the soup is incredible. So we're gonna have some guests over. So we made some chicken fajitas. Yeah. So how was your dance party at school today? Oh yeah, today at school we had a dance party for uh, two and a half hours and that was really good. And then um, I went to my city service training, which I'm working with kids at the YMCA. So that, I'm really excited about that. It will just be a time to like build relationship and just get to know the kids. and. Breakfast. Oh. This is my small group <laughs> with uh, all, the, all the guys. <laughs> it's not a picture from, uh, from my first year small group, except Tim because he's still in England. God bless him. And Sandy. So, <laughs> um, so this is Santi yeah. from Argentina. I'm Santi. He's made from Argentina. Ransom from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Josh. Come on, Josh. From I forget. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <Josh>. ah. <laughs> So 
I'm gonna go for a 10k run and Cheyenne's gonna try to keep up. With my bike. Healthy lifestyle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So I've completed my 10K. I got a killer side, weight, side ache at about four and a half. And it didn't really go away until seven or eight. So I had to run it out, it was tough. But then uh, then I felt much better at 8K, so I kicked it up a little bit. So I finished with uh, 38 minutes and 59 seconds. Hi, uh, so we're uh, sneaking into church. It's Friday night and there's a... Um, seven o'clock church service and abby's speaking so we have to sneak in yeah like if they were streaming it then we would consider not sneaking in but <laughs> they're not streaming it. what you have to do when your bevel's doing it to sneak into church <laughs> so we just have to try to not be seen and then it will be all okay the reason we have to sneak in is because we're assigned to service as students because if like all of the students just went to the like one service that'd be like two thousand people and the building only fits like eight. Yeah, so so they don't want you to go to more services. So if we get caught, I don't know what will happen. It might kick us out of church. That would be interesting. I've never been kicked out of church before. <laughs> <laughs> showing off to Jesus, he's like, like seven times? Like, I think he thinks he's real generous with the seven number. He's like, I forgave John six times already. I'm very holy, God. So then Jesus answers him, no, 70 times seven. Like, Jesus is like, you're not even in the ballpark, son. Good morning, morning. guys. <laughs> oh, we're on our way to the Young Saints Conference where we volunteer. 7.45 in the morning and it's cold. It's like 15. 15 degrees. Um, <laughs> I'm freezing. We volunteered to be part of the parking team so that means we get to wear orange vests and wave Old orange classy. sticks and uh, show people where to park. You know. And I'm doing a dance audition today from 11 till 11.05 <laughs> and so I kind of have a dance. Um, figured out but half of it I'm just gonna lose. So we got here and there was enough parking volunteers so they scheduled us double somehow. Um, easy to happen it's kind of a big gong show over here but um, we are so then we just joined the ministry team for the youth pastors. Um, that so that was fun. fun. Cool to see anyways. See all the youth pastors around here. Now we'll just show up for our next time slot for um, parking. Let's see see if they still need us or not. Doesn't matter what your feelings are telling you or what your past is telling you. Your reality and the truth of who you are is that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You can stand on that. 